Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a holiday reading vlog of Ninth Rain by Jen Williams. So this is a book that my patrons had picked out and voted on me to vlog for December. I'm really excited about it. And while normally I'll make these vlogs patron exclusive, because it's the holidays, I thought instead what I would do is put it up early for patrons and then let everybody see it, especially because I think it's going to be really fun. Tomorrow I am planning on going around the city. I live in New York City. There are a lot of fun, festive holiday things to do and see, and I thought it would be fun to take you all along with me, especially because I am reading this book via audio and ebook. I have an audio copy of it and an ebook copy. It's been hard to get your hands on on a physical copy of the series because they were published in the UK and I think are maybe out of print but they're about to be published in the US starting in January so I might eventually be able to get physical copies but for now I have the audiobook and the ebook and I have started it I'm not far in I'm just a couple of chapters in but, but so far it's going really well I am very intrigued it's got an interesting world that feels like maybe it's a sci fantasy blend. I can't totally tell. There are humans and then there's these other people that are maybe sort of vampires. It seems like they consume human blood even though they weren't supposed to, but their tree god died and their tree god used to give them sap that made them live a long time. And so then they started drinking blood from humans, but that's like cursed some of them. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I am invested and so far I'm really enjoying the story. So I will check back in once I've made some more progress and then tomorrow I am going to take you along with me while I listen to the book and go see some fun holiday sites in New York City. Good morning. I just got done going to my kids school for a holiday performance. <laughs> Now I'm out doing some fun stuff today. fun to go out and see everything and I am loving the book. I'm very invested in all of the different perspectives. It's brutal at times. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on. I'll talk more about it when I get somewhere quieter but I'm so happy this was picked for me because it's really good. So we're at Hudson Yards right now. I've just been walking around the city. Hudson Yards I haven't been to but I hear they have an amazing lights display inside the mall here so we're gonna go check it out. lunch as you saw. I just premiered my mid-month wrap-up. I think I got some sun. I guess it makes sense. I did a lot of walking today more than I had realized. I did put on sunscreen 
but perhaps I should have put more on. Anyway, let's talk about Ninth Rain. I am really enjoying it. This is among the most engaging books I've read recently. I am just really loving the world. I think it's doing some interesting stuff. I would definitely call this sci fantasy. It feels like a blend of the two. There are sort of aliens with technology that's not understood. There are witches with powers. There's creepy weird creatures that are maybe alien in nature. I, I don't know how much to even like say about the book because I don't want to make this a spoiler vlog. I want to make this available for everybody to be able to watch it. But I'm enjoying it a lot. We've got a few main perspectives. We've got the one guy who's sort of this long-lived being who consumes human blood vampire-ish but not really a vampire. We've got some humans. We've got a woman who's a witch who's supposed to be locked up because of her witchy powers that are too dangerous, but also they use her powers to make this kind of drug or something, which is interesting. Anyway, she's escaped and is on the run. Um, and then this makes really good use of epigraphs at the beginning of each chapter where we get to learn information about the world, about these aliens, about what the reigns are, and each it's it's called the ninth reign. The ninth reign is the name of a sword, but also the last reign was the eighth reign, which are attacks from these aliens, sort of. And yeah, it's it's uh super interesting. There's a lot going on. I am just having a good time with it. The writing is really enjoyable. It's easy to get into. I have been doing a mix of audiobook and ebook, which I think is a nice way to do it. I think the audiobook is done well, but definitely there are some details that I'm picking up better from integrating the ebook. It's really good though. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a five star read if it continues the way it is. I mean, it could end up being one of my favorite fantasy books that I've read this year, which is exciting. And there's two more books in the series. So, so far it's great. I see why this has been such a popular series and I'm happy for the author that it's getting published in the U.S. next year. There's also just a lot of details that I think are fun in exploring, you know, what it would be, what would it be like for some people to live for up to a thousand years and what, how would that influence their lives? And what if there were some people who went to a place to train in the art of sex and treated it as a form of worship and what might that look like? There's just a lot to unpack. It's a really cool world and one that feels like it's really been thought through and like there's a lot of room to play and a lot of room to to learn more. So I am enjoying it. I'm like 30 something percent of the way into it at this point. So I am going to keep reading. I don't know that I'll finish it all today, but uh, probably can make some more progress tonight. So I will check back in later. Okay, I am 52% of the way into the book and there was just like a big revelation that I'm like, oh shit, okay, that changes things and I did not see that twist coming. Huh. Okay. The, it, it's great. Like, a lot of stuff is happening. It's... Oh, man. Um, peril, twists and turns. It, some, some really bad people in power. Politics. It's, it's good. This is, it, it's a really good book. Good morning. I am at about the 70% mark on the ninth reign and continuing to really enjoy it and be very invested in what's going to happen. And I am now going to get ready to go to a rally that the HarperCollins Union is putting on. They're on strike. If you've been following my videos, you probably know about it. And I've been standing in solidarity with them and withholding reviews until they get a fair bargain. The thing is, too, is like there's a whole conversation that could be had about the problems with the publishing industry and how cost prohibitive it is for most people to even get into it because incomes are so low in one of the most expensive cities in the world. Um, anyway, and the things that they're asking for are not at all unreasonable. I can't believe it's been almost a month and they've heard nothing. So RF Kwong and some other people are organizing a rally outside their headquarters today. So I'm headed down there. I will include some footage here. I'm going to keep listening to Ninth Rain. I'll also update you guys on the book and I'm planning on making a short as well. So maybe I'll insert that and show you what happens. But yeah, that's my plan for today. I do also plan to finish Ninth Rain. I have about two hours left in it. It's 
It's so interesting and there's so much happening in this world. I have questions. I didn't realize it was going to have sci-fi elements to it. It's a cool genre blend. I like sci fantasy quite a bit and I think this is doing some neat things. It also has some casually queer characters. It's not like a big point of the plot but it's just sort of casually in the background. Also casual diversity just in terms of the color of people's skin, the way characters are described which I appreciate. There's, there's just a lot to like about it. Plus it's fun and interesting. There's lots of weird, creepy monsters and lore and history and I just, I'm enjoying it. It's great. My name is Laura Harshberger and I am a senior production editor with HarperCollins Children's Books. Yeah! Yeah! I'm the chair of the HarperCollins Employee Union and a member of the Bargaining Committee. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! I want to talk to you today about resilience. Resilience is what has brought us to this point. Day 27 of our strike. And I want to take a moment to acknowledge the strength, perseverance, and conviction of my striking colleagues. Of the roughly 200 of us that walked off the job on November 10th, not a single one of us has turned our back on the collective goal of a fair contract and return to work. We remain united in this fight. whatever it takes. We are able to remain united because of the support our community has shown us. The book publishing world has clearly long awaited this reckoning. Authors know it. Agents know it. Booksellers know it. Other publishing professionals know it. Are so reasonable. The basic idea that folks, you can't possibly live on $45,000 minimum salary in New York City in this competitive marketplace, um, and you deserve pay increases, the paltry amount that they have put on the table to increase workers' wages here is just absurd, and they must negotiate a fair contract with you. The security that you are seeking is what all workers deserve, and you may know there's actually legislation uh, that Tiffany Caban has introduced in the city council that would provide just cause protections and basic seniority protections for all New York City workers. I remember two years ago I was at the Brooklyn Book Festival. I was with my editor Naomi Gibbs. And people were being really kind. They kept coming up and saying like, you know, like they fuck with the book, they like the book. When your name is on the front of the book so often, the praise, the accolades, the awards, they fall to you. But anyone who's actually involved in the magic of making a book knows that every book is a symphony of effort. It's really orchestral. I'm talking not just with the editors who obviously are involved, their assistants, publicity, legal, logistics, design, art. So many people make books happen. You guys are out here standing for what you believe in that every single worker in New York City should have better pay better coverage, and a better working environment. Look, we're all facing the challenges living in New York City. Inflation is going up. Medical prices are going up. Damn, rent is going up every single week. How are we supposed to thrive, work in this city, if we can't even afford to get around this beautiful place? We cannot. And so your movement, your fight, is inspiring other people throughout this city to start conversations, to reach out to union organizers, yeah. to say, if these people are having the longest strike ever seen in Harper's College, we can do the same. Yeah. Here today for a common reason. We have dedicated our lives to books. Yeah. Passionately. Stupidly, <laughs> sadistically, we love books. We are readers. I am not a HarperCollins employee or a union member, but I have worked in multiple editorial departments. And as one of the few authors who have had a chance to peek under the hood of how books are made, I feel a moral obligation to support the Harper Collins Union. This is for one very simple reason. 
I believe that whatever the outcome of this strike, it will set a precedent for the book industry for years to come. Woo! As we say, industry consolidation, the closure of beloved literary magazines, and mass layoffs. The question that is being asked is this, are books valuable? Yes. Yeah. 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 Are books valuable? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are the skills needed to make quality, readable books important skills? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the answer is yes. Yeah. Yeah. You are not robots. Your job is not churning out book after book. Your existence is more than derivative repetition of last year's bestsellers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at you. <laughs> this is your job. You bring joy to people who have lost hope. Education to people. The system has failed that our workers deserve a living wage? Yeah! Are we going to congratulate the UAW for the strike at the new school? Yeah! Friends, friends, or stewards of culture as you are, and I heartily agree. By the way, I'm at the other end of the spectrum. I'm a politician. But let me say this. The work you do is so important. Books are the essence, the heartbeat, the bedrock of our democracy. It is so important that we stand up for everyone in the publishing industry, especially stand up against the far right wing and Rupert Murdoch. Am I right about that? You deserve a living wage, more than $45,000 if you ask me, more than $50,000 if you ask me. I stand with you today because New Yorkers stand with you. New York City is a union town. Am I right about that? For a trilogy. Woo! Oh, sorry. First time reading this word. First time in this course coming, yellow face. All published by Harper Collins. me to keep writing books for them. Um, they should treat the folks who put my books on shelves with dignity and respect. Otherwise, I think they might find that a lot of authors like me might be heading elsewhere. Into publishing, and for folks whose stories have not been represented by publishing for far too long, and we care about marginalized voices, about diverse voices, about publishing the books that people need to hear. The only way out is through. People want to know who we are. Who we are. So we tell Hello, I have finished reading The Ninth Rain. I'm here to wrap it up. It has been a really long day. I finished reading it this morning, but one of my kids had a birthday party today, so it's it's just been a really long day. But I did finish it and I really loved it. I'm excited to continue on with the trilogy. I think there's a cool blend of science fiction and fantasy happening in the story. I'm invested in some of the characters. There are some twists that happen towards the end that I wasn't expecting. and. Yeah, just a lot of really interesting world building things. I will say the characters could probably be deeper and more nuanced. I like them and I think because I'm so into the story and so into the world, the characters work fine. 
but I wouldn't call this a character driven story. I think this is being much more driven by the plot and the world, but the characters are good. I think the character work is is good. Would I call this a new all time favorite? No, but it is a really good book. I would say four and a half to five star read something that kept me very engaged throughout. It's got a lot of interesting ideas. There's twists and turns and the ending is definitely a cliffhanger that sets you up for book two. I'm also curious to know if the titles of all the books in the trilogy are named after after weapons because The Ninth Rain is partly named after this weapon and book two is The Bitter Twins, I believe, and we were introduced to two daggers that are named the bitter twins in this book so I don't, I don't remember what the third book is titled but it makes me wonder if they're all titled after weapons that are significant in some way to that part of the story i don't know but yeah this also is quite creepy at times. It's a sci fantasy that occasionally integrates some horror elements. So I guess no going in, there's some scary monsters, there's some creepy moments, but I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoy coming along with me on this journey, hearing my thoughts on the book and coming along to see holiday things in New York City and supporting the HarperCollins Union. Yay. Thank you so much to my patrons who voted for me to read this. I'm really happy that I did. I'd heard good things and I don't know when I would have gotten around to it otherwise. So I'm really pleased that this was the pick. And for those of you who are seeing it right before Christmas, if you celebrate, Merry Christmas. Otherwise, happy holidays. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Take it easy. Enjoy yourself. Go read a good book, spend time with people that you love. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts. Have you read The Ninth Rain? Did you like it? What did you think about it? Let me know. And if you like this video, it always helps if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.